Hello. Hello, hello. No? Hi. How are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Your son? Or your grandson. Thank you very much. And then he's waiting, and I'm responding like I'm correcting him. No, no, he's my great, great grandson. Hey, brother, how are you? brother. Thank you, thank you. Oh, hi, you're my son. How are you? Say hi, Christopher. Say hi to the camera. Christopher. Say hi, camera. Look at the birds of the air, that they do not sow, nor reap, nor gather in the barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they? Who of you, by being worried, can end a single hour to his life? And why are you worried about clothing? Observe how the lilies of the field grow. They do not toil, nor do they spin. Yet I say to you that even Solomon, in all his glory, that not even Solomon in all his glory was clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not worry then, saying, What shall we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear for clothing? For the Gentiles eagerly seek these things. And your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own.